sometime between August and December 2013, the beloved University of Chicago dormitory Pierce Tower was demolished. Demolition was allegedly ordered by the university administration in order to make room for a new dormitory to be called Campus North, which will be more state-of-the-art and make better use of the block between 55th and 56th streets. While the mainstream media portrayed the condemning of Pierce as a polarizing issue between the student body and the administration, with students expressing their desire to keep Pierce on campus through blogging and vocal protest, many believed that the university was not solely responsible for the destruction of Pierce Tower. Many believe it was an inside job, a plot originating from within the Pierce community itself. Many people believe this. Pierce was demolished using the Manx style bagger cranes and swinging wrecking balls at the towers. Prior to the demolition, similar cranes were involved in an accident that nearly took the life of pop singer Miley Cyrus. Footage of the accident in which Cyrus stepped out of the way of the wrecking ball just as it broke through the wall behind her shows that a properly used wrecking ball is capable of destroying an entire wall. If a wrecking ball were properly used on Pierce Tower, it would look like this. But as of the time this picture was taken, the University Avenue side of the tower looks like this. The Tufts House insignia, which should have been destroyed, is still there. This leaves us to ask, why? 1960, Pierce Tower is opened and welcomes its first class of students, residents. It contains four houses, Henderson, Shorey, Thompson, and Tufts. Tufts House distinguishes itself as a unique asset to the housing office's treasury by selling shirts with the school's official Latin motto, where fun comes to die. 1893. James Hayden Tufts receives an appointment to the philosophy department at the University of Chicago. Tufts House would later be named after him, the, enter the enterprising character of the house, a reminder of Tufts' commitment to pragmatic applications of philosophy. 1993. As part of the sixth annual University of Chicago scavenger hunt, university students exhumed the remains of Tufts and cloned him several times for four points per clone. 2011. Tufts clones, now in their late teens, enroll at the University of Chicago as undergraduates. 1888. Alois Adolf Real, Austrian philosopher and mentor to James Tufts, commissions Mies van der Rohe to build his house. 1955. Harry Weiss, an avowed opponent of Van der Rohe's philosophy and architecture, signs on to become the architect of Pierce Tower. To the clear displeasure of Tufts' clones, remembering Real's allegiance to Van der Rohe, Weiss designs what will become Tufts' house. February 2012. Pierce residents report, report toilets suddenly exploding, spraying excrement and porcelain shards all over the north. The university was explicitly vague about where these explosions originated, primarily citing faulty plumbing and poor maintenance in the building. One student reported that the exploding toilets sounded like shotguns, but the university routinely failed to address the allegations that there were shotguns in the toilets and offered no alternative source of the shotgun sound. The only logical conclusion to draw is that the Pierce plumbing system was lined with firearms. Whether a planned attempt to damage Tufts House as a means of spiting Weiss or an accidental misfiring of these weapons that led to scandal, it's clear that University President Robert Zimmer brought in a demolition crew as a cover-up for Pierce's gradual destruction by shotgun. It's extremely likely that the clones of James Tufts paid off the University and Zimmer, who went as far as to throw celebrations of the Pierce demolition, doing a bad job of hiding his excitement about the event. As a closing thought to those yet convinced that the clones of James H. Tufts paid off the university to stage the demolition of Pierce Tower, I ask you. When was the last time you saw the University of Chicago do anything without being paid off first?